the location in the house is quite dark today. So, where I'm at is dark. Take this jacket off and let you see. A little shirt. I just dug it up out of my closet. I ain't wore it in a while. But, uh, see what I'm rocking my real life shirt. The future of America. Skull and crossbones. You feel me? So, um, Joe the Plumber. Why don't people just leave this man the fuck alone? Not every American makes $250,000 a year. He's a businessman. He's in business. He went to school to be a plumber or whatever. Good for him. Not every American makes $250,000 a year. Not every American got it like that. So, I want to say one thing right now. Get off Joe the Plumber's dick. Okay? Now, if Joe the Plumber was some big fat ass dude with a goddamn Mario and Luigi type mustache and shit, you know what I mean, a Luigi ass mustache, a big ass fucking fat white guy with a Luigi mustache, nobody would have had a fucking camera rammed up in his goddamn face, this man looks like he sits on his bow flex and he eats pretty good, okay, you feel me, this ain't no big ass fat ass crack hanging out goddamn plumber, you know what I'm saying, so to show another quote me if you want to, beautiful looking person with a little something standing next to another person with a little something asking a question and blowing him all out of proportion like he's the next goddamn greatest brilliant mind if a fucking world disaster just popped out of nowhere right now who the fuck you gonna call joe the plumber get off joe's jock okay stop jocking joe the plumber oh yeah and a matter of fact the average in american is not a plumber i know a lot of plumbers who wouldn't like this video but um Get off Joe the Plumber's dick, okay? He ain't all that. He just a man trying to make his ends meet and shit. So stop making this man seem like some goddamn rock star and shit. You've already gave him enough free publicity, so uh, he'll never have to worry about sending his kids to college. So you think about this. Get off Joe the Plumber's dick, because he's not all that. Thank you, and uh, let's find some real news to report on. Instead of sticking in front of somebody's house who just asked the presidential candidate a question. All right, have a good day. May your God take care of you. May your life be fulfilled. And may these skulls on my shirt never be rolling down the street in your neighborhood. <laughs> Feel me?